<laughs> oh, hey, hey, YouTubers, Mary again. I was just uh, relaxing and thinking about how some of us are just so worried, and it's not everybody. A lot of us are really carefree and just relaxing in God, and and a lot of us are just really going crazy and trying to figure stuff out and what is God telling us and what should we do? I want to be ready and blah, blah, blah. And I was thinking about myself and I was saying, well, why am I so calm and not upset? And I said, oh, I remember. And, and when I say I remember, I was raised up in the uh, Christian church, the Pente Pentecostal re religion, and but now I'm not a Christian. I, I don't, I don't know. I don't have to say I'm affiliated with any religion. I've studied quite a few: uh, Buddhism, Hinduism, and just a lot of different religions. And it's kind of like taking a sample plate and going around. Let me see what this is like, and you know, and. Uh, uh, dabble a little bit with uh, uh, the witchcraft religion, the uh, hoodoo religion uh, in the African format. And that religion, to me, is like a lot like the Pentecostal church, you know, when we get happy in the church and just get to shouting and, you know, foaming at the mouth and all of that. But the hoodoo kind of remind me of that. So, I don't know, I have just enjoyed myself looking at different religions and things. But I I enjoy my life like it is, and I'm not worried. But I was thinking about people who follow somebody, and if you're afraid, you'll follow somebody who is afraid because they stimulate you. So we have a lot of leaders who are preaching fear and, and making it hard. But I'm going to read this scripture. When I was in the, the, the church I was in, I, I love this scripture. And I still love my scripture. I just I just don't have to follow my religion and all these tithes and all that. The stuff the churches tell you to do. But I love this. Uh, Matthew, the 11th chapter, the 28th through the 30th verse. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden and I will give you rest. In other words, come here. I would say, come unto me. Come here, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. And that's talking about most of us now, especially people who are younger than I am. I, knew, I know you all are tired, because when I was your age, I was tired. You were a slave. You had to work, work, work if you wanted to keep food on the table and your bills paid you had to work and i was driven by that i i worked seven days a week and just every day i'd wake and my youngest son he he i would wake him up let's go and i would take him to the shop and he'd go to sleep because we'd get there at six o'clock he would sleep it was time for him to catch the bus to go to school but he knew what I was doing and I worked like that but I know how you young people are doing and take take a little bit of time and yeah I don't I can't tell you to relax because I didn't relax I didn't know how to relax so that that the it wasn't the money that drove me it was the bills that drove me you and it's like a little rabbit in this wheel you just have to keep on and paying these bills and putting these boys through college and all of that yeah, it was you had your head down and your elbows up you just worked so jesus said in this text come here all ye that labor and are heavy laden and i will give you rest take my yoke upon you and learn of me for i am meek and lowly in heart and ye shall find rest unto your souls for my yoke is easy and my burden is light and you know, when i read that i think about uh, take my yoke upon you and learn of me because when you have an animal and you're trying to 
train him to work the field and pull the plow. These are the animal has to get used to the yoke because they're not used to that. And, and religion, the word religion is a Greek word that means to restrain and wear a yoke. So religion is a yoke upon you. And uh, when you first get into it, you, I don't like this and I can't do this. So the, the, the word that Jesus is saying, I don't put these burdens on you like the uh, Pharisees and the Sadducees doing. I'm not doing that. Learn of me for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. I'm not, I don't, this wagon that you're pulling, I don't have a lot of stuff in it. And you don't have to work hard for this. And ye shall find rest for your souls. So we have to learn how to not strive so hard. Looking at the the bit and the apple that's in front of us to keep you going, going. Because uh, that, that they have to put the blinders on the animal so he could see only one thing. If you're not careful, you'll get some somebody that's teaching and preaching this. This one thing, clues, codes, colors, and all that stuff and numbers. And you'll be looking at that. You, before you know it, you'll be looking for nothing but numbers. You can't even see Jesus or your peace because you're looking for numbers. And, oh, that's that, this, that. Your burden is heavy and, and you can't find rest for your souls because you are looking for clues. And when you find all these clues and codes, you still don't have an answer. That is the, that is the silliest thing you could be doing. When you can just sit here and rub your toes together and just the world let it pass you by because you are not afraid of death that's the thing about it we are afraid of dying i i guess hell is in the equation as why it's making us so fearful but hell is a thing that we perceive and we can create hell because we are creators so if you believe it's a hell, then you're gonna you're gonna suffer hell. But I don't know if when you die, are you going to hell? I I don't even think about hell. I really don't. It's just when I go to sleep at night, I I do have some some weird dreams sometimes. But I'm thankful that God wakes me out of. And I say, oh, thank you. I'm glad that was a dream. But when I before I go to bed, I, I had learned have learned to say, "All is well, all is well," and then I fall, find myself falling to sleep, and my dreams are pleasant then. So don't don't worry, and take this scripture at heart, and don't don't chase this thing that somebody has in front of your face. You looking at numbers and got your calculator and pencil and. You're scared of the color purple, and you're scared of black, white, and red. That, don't do that, because God has not given us a spirit of fear. It's just that's not that's not in the equation. But anyway, I had to come and give you this quick little message. And uh, but you people that have to do it that way, you're doing it the hard way. <laughs> and if it's hard, if your life is hard, you're doing it wrong. I had a lady one time, old lady, and I was pretty young then, but I used to have a problem every time I'd go to the supermarket and trying to pull the baskets out and separate them, get a basket. And one day I'm struggling, and this old lady, she came up, she said, baby, let me tell you something. If it's hard, you're doing it wrong. So she said raise this up raise and she raised this thing up the little seat where you put your babies in she raised that up and then she just pulled that basket out so what in the world was i doing she said i don't know what you're doing but it was wrong because it was hard so when things if, if things are hard you're doing it wrong life is supposed to be easy and remember that because uh, uh there was a uh, the church I used to go to, the pastor, you know, he would give us different little stories and things. But he said one time, his uh, father, they had old wagons back then. And he said, 
his father stopped to pick up a man that was carrying a great big old sack of corn on his back. And he said, man, come on, I'll give you a ride. Where you going? And he said, man, I need to go go into town. So the, the man climbed up in the wagon, but he kept the bag of corn on his back. And he's sitting there riding, riding, and the, the corn is just bouncing and going on. And his father said, man, that's why I gave you a ride. Put that corn down. You ain't got to tote this corn on your back. Now I'm giving you a ride. So that's what god is doing to us we lay these burdens down you don't have to tote them on your back and when you got a ride too so enjoy okay <laughs> I'll, I'll talk to you later okay thinking about good things bye bye